Hello everyone, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs today on Tuesday. First bit of news, bookies have absolutely slashed the odds on Spurs to win the title. Uh, before this weekend's win against West Ham, 4-1 of course, absolute thrashing, we were 25-1 to to win the title. Right now we are down to 16-1. to Is it worth a cheeky bet? Put a tenner on that, you'll take 160 quid home if we win the title. But to be honest, no money would be better than the feeling that it would actually feel if we won the title. Is it likely? Of course it's not likely. But could we do it? If other people keep slipping up and we keep this form up, of course we could. Also, back at the beginning of the season, we were as high as 125 to 1 to win the title. And let's face it, guys, the bookies rarely get it wrong. Next bit of news is that Italian right back who plays for Roma, Alessandro Florenzi, has been linked with not only Spurs, but a similar size team to Spurs in Barcelona. That's right, the Spanish champions, the Champions League holders have been linked with Florenzi, but he's a right back who apparently has been interesting Spurs. Now, to me, it sounds a bit like a load of old rubbish. Uh, you know that Franco Baldini used to love trying to buy Roma players, and of course he succeeded when it came to Eric Lamella. But we've got Kieran Trippier as a good backup to Kyle Walker, who's playing really well this season. It just doesn't make sense to me that Paul Mitchell would be looking over at Italy, at Roma, to go and get a right back, even though Florenzi does play for the national team and has scored four goals from right back this season for club and country. Anyway, let me know if you agree with me. Is it a load of rubbish or is that a possibility in January? Finally today, Maurizio Pochettino has come out and said that Spurs are now one of the world's most appealing clubs for players to come to. And he doesn't just mean young players, he means older players as well. He says, and I quote, look at the way we show respect for the players, the way we try to play and the way our philosophy is. Now, of course, you could just say he's just bigging up his own club or he's licking up to uh, uh, Daniel Levy. Uh, maybe he is, I don't know. Daniel Levy is the kind of person you'd probably want to show a lot of respect to. But actually, if you think about it, I think Spurs is a great club to come and play for at the moment. We've got one of the best academies in the world. We've got uh, one of the best stadiums in the world coming in just a few years' time. I really do think over the next few years, or, or right now, especially for young players, it is an attractive proposition. You will get game time. They do throw the youngsters in, and then in just four or five years' time when the stadium is happening, I think anybody will start wanting to come. The, the corporate money will be up there. There'll be more money for wages available and we might really see, start to see the big names coming in. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, am I talking rubbish or am I making sense? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a 